Our child sexual predator unit that works with all of the local police agencies, the sheriff, the police departments, and the federal government to not only target the predators, but then to gather the evidence and analyze it in a timely manner. Seldom can you identify the person just by looking at them. Their behavior is normal, but yet again they can molest a child within seconds. All of these predators have computers or cell phones, and we're finding evidence on those of uh, either that victim or other victims or child pornography on their laptop or their cell phone. We basically have adults preying upon kids who are the victims here. When someone goes on to the internet and looks at child pornography, a child at that very moment is not being victimized, one might think, but actually the child is, because that child who's been violated, photos taken of that child, films doing terrible things, is now being viewed by thousands and thousands, mostly men, throughout the world at any time of day. And the crime continues over and over and over again. And the Child Sexual Predator Unit is a highly trained task force of uh, forensic experts who are using technology to go after these predators who are also using technology. This is our computer forensics lab. In here we have three forensic workstations that we examine digital evidence on. Digital evidence could be the hard drive from a desktop computer or a laptop, memory card from a cell phone, camera memory cards, cameras, thumb drives, loose hard drives. Sometimes the information might just be a photograph. Sometimes the information is what time the person actually went to the internet. We have 13 cases on the board. One of those cases could have 20 different items in it. Loose hard drive, one cell phone. The two laptops, one hard drive, a cell phone, I touch, a thumb drive, and CD. Two towers, five cell phones, a camera, and a memory card. In child molest cases, lots of times the case starts out as a he said, she said. You have a child saying that someone did something to them that they shouldn't have. We're able to corroborate the child's evidence, and we've had great success in the last four months. We've had three cases where the defendant ended up pleading guilty without ever going to court. We saved the victim from having to go into court. We just found this mountain of evidence that proved that what the child said was true.